Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, it's Gnome. This is Football Shirts I Got in May of 2022. It's a title reads, of course. This is a series of mine where I go over the shirts I got in that time frame. I do it over the months as well as the year. You know, I put them on the year. It's a title reads. It's pretty simple. Some shirts do not get included in this video, even though I got them in that month, such as match warns or collector's items, collector's items, collector's shirts, I should say. I give them a video of their own. Of course, that doesn't devalue the shirts that I got in these videos. There's some bangers in here as well, such as this one right here, a Bayern Munich 2000, well, 1998 slash 2000 training shirt. And it is in fantastic condition. Any chance I get to buy a Bayern shirt, a lot of times I take it if it's for a good price as well as great quality. And the quality on this was absolutely way better than I thought it was gonna be. Even though the pictures look great, it was a lot better in person than I was really expecting. But lovely shirt to start it off with. We have four shirts. I have a, I have a number three raised up. But we do have four shirts in this video. So we'll go ahead and move on to the second one. Okay, so this next shirt right here, it is a beauty, of course. I say pretty much the same thing about most of these shirts. I do like them. That's why I bought them. But this shirt's very, very wrinkled up. This came in a package that was not really handled very well, wasn't packaged very well, very just tightly wrapped and just wadded up together to be honest with the other shirt it came with. The other shirt it came with will be in another video. Um, it's a Turkish shirt, a match worn one, a Turkish sleeve match worn shirt. But um, that's a little bit of a teaser, a little bit of a spoiler of what to come. But this shirt right here is player spec. The player spec Manchester City 2020 slash 21 De Bruyne shirt. De Bruyne number 17 right there under the Puma logo. Marathon bet. Of course, it's a sponsor. Manchester City is the club. Next entire, a sponsor on the sleeve. And the back is plain white. Clean shirt. Got in a bundle deal with that match worn shirt. So I got it for a fair price in my eyes. But I do wish it wasn't completely wadded up. Let's move on to the third shirt. All right, so the third shirt I'm taking out of the main package right now. The third shirt is the fourth shirt. Don't make much sense, does it? But it is the fourth shirt of AC Milan. That is the 2022 special edition. The city shirt's visible there still. So that's fine. It is the AC Milan X Neiman shirt. Yeah, a lot of controversy on this shirt. I understand. Do I think it's deserving of it? Originally I did, and then I kept looking at it. And I was like, this shirt is fire. Do I think that upon looking at it here? Yeah, I like it. I like this shirt a lot. Ah, uh, hurts to raise up my left arm. But um, that's Bruce Ridge for you. But authentic licensed football. This is a very, very nice shirt. There was something I was going to grab. Oh yeah. I also wasn't able to get printing on it. It was sold out. So I, I did buy it. I don't have a heat press. This is something for the future uh, when I have room for a heat press and all that stuff. But I um, also have a Holland name set in here for the Norway away shirt. You know, the nice, I see one, yeah, 2020 through 22. But also, Ibrahimovic number 11 is also in here, the Neiman one. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully we can apply that sometime in the future. Of course, now you're looking at the close-ups of it, but the line between football and fashion continues to be blurred with Milan-based brand Neiman making a crossover for a special capsule created for AC Milan, a club synonymous with style, fashion, and innovation. The Neiman and AC Milan collection Perfectly embodies these shared values by merging stylish football designs inspired by off-pitch football fashion culture together with innovative football performance materials. But yeah, the ultra-light engineered fabric is Puma's lightest performance jersey ever. And it's presented with AC Milan's traditional red and black stripes emerging from, or being covered by, the center of a blank white canvas that covers the upper and lower portions of the shirt. It reveals just enough of the classic design to show off the relevant sponsors for both the men's and women's teams, along with the special Puma X Neiman branding on the right of the chest. Of course, there was also plenty of other 
items in this collection, but the jersey, of course, was the main one, and one one that was like super high price. It sounded like that was an ad. I was reading off a little bit of the article about it, but nonetheless, let's move on to the fourth and final shirt of the video. All right, so the final shirt is of the GOAT. Lionel Messi, we have the 2004 slash 05 Argentinian home shirt. Number 18 on the front, number 18 on the back, Messi on the top of the back, because that's a Messi shirt, you know? But number 18. I thought it was pretty cool to have a messy shirt with a number 18 on it. Actually, in fact, this is my first messy shirt. Is this in the greatest of conditions? No. There's a few marks you'll see on the close-ups of it. Some fading on the climacole on the bottom. And that is a bit unfortunate, obviously, but I got it for a pretty fair price. And all in all, it's not in too bad a condition. It does kind of look like it's torn there on the top. I think it's just worn there on the collar. On the top, that's what I was talking about. But, oh, still a beauty of a shirt. This, of course, is one of the first Argentinian shirts that Messi had, you know, being a very, very young player at the time. It's kind of cool to have a shirt from his earlier days. But the crest, I love the shine on it. Just the glistening of that material, it just looks phenomenal. Somebody wrote on the freaking tag like an idiot. Wish they didn't do that. But at least it's not on the main shirt. But, of course, there are some smudges on it. I ended up doing the outro, though. I'm adding this before the outro. I didn't need to say that. Because obviously I haven't seen the outro until after this. But um, more than the shirt, volume 1, 2021 slash 22, Phil Bills. It's not an ad or anything. I guess it kind of could be PSG on the back. More than shirt. However, I did end up getting a couple pictures of a shirt that I took in this magazine. Phil Dells on Twitter. He does podcasts for Hummel. The greatest football shirt manufacturers. What page am I again? Page 28. As well as page 29. 2021 Napoli Special Edition Halloween shirt. That's a picture that I took of my shirt. That you could see a video of, of course. So, I have that on my channel. And Napoli has another Halloween shirt coming out. If you want a video of that one on my channel as well, let me know. That I'm going to do it regardless. Also, page 30 and 31, it's here too. Crest. My name's also here. So yeah, you're probably seeing some close-ups of that. But I'm just showing the parts that I took. I'm not going to show the whole magazine, of course. But be sure that you go buy this. I don't even know if it's still available. Probably not. Honestly, it's too late. Should have made this video earlier. Nonetheless, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Snell, and adios.